Okay, now I want to talk about the Philidor's defense. The Philidor's defense is an opening that starts off by um, e4, e5, knight f3, and then black plays d6. Normally we'd see black play something like knight to c6. But here black plays d6, um, So why did black play d6? Well, he wants to uh, keep a pawn in the center, but unfortunately the move d6 has shut in his uh, bishop here on um, f8. And his real plan, uh, or the plan of Philidor, was actually to play f5. And we'll see if that works when we explore the openings. So basically, um, what happens is that uh, well, let's look at it for terms of white or what will happen for white. White will usually end up getting um, um, a better space advantage and mobility. Um, but what black gets is a, um, a very solid but cramped game. So let's see how it turns out. So if this is the position, how, what move should uh, white make? The most common move is for white is to immediately to attack the center with d4. So white plays d4. Now how should uh, black respond? Well there's uh, two basic game plans for black at this point. One is to actually give up the center and play e takes d4. The other one is to maintain the pawns in the center and to develop by probably by starting by playing knight takes f6. This actually leads to the Hanham variation. The other one which we covered, uh, or which I talked about, was to play um, f5, which was Philidor's idea. Maybe I should just say the move you don't want to make in this position as black is to actually play the move g4, which you'll, you'll see um, if you go to a club or maybe even online. But uh, here's how if you're, if you're playing white and your opponent plays black, in this position and plays bishop to g4, you you should respond by playing d takes e5. Now of course if he recaptures with a pawn you just take the, the queen and the king recaptures and then you win the pawn right here on uh, on e5. But so black has to capture the knight, the queen recaptures, um, black has to recapture the pawn or it's going to lose a pawn. Then you have this nice move bishop to c4 hitting the f7, threatening mate. Uh, the best move here probably actually is queen to f6, but you'll uh, probably, people, most people who haven't gotten into this position will play what a natural move, um, or looks natural, knight to f6, but then uh, white has this move, queen to b3, hitting f7 and b7 at the same time. So that's the reason why you don't play um, bishop to g4 in this position as black. So, like I said before, uh, the uh, the two continuations are take the pawn or go for uh, keeping the pawn tension. So let's look at uh, what happens when you take the pawn. So basically black says I'm going to give up the center um, and hopefully get some counterattack chances. Well, of course, the next move is white should play knight takes d4, recapturing the pawn. Black will probably play knight f6, uh, hitting the pawn. This is black's idea is to give up the center and then hit this e4 pawn right here. So it's developing, attacking the e4 pawn. White plays knight to c3, uh, protecting the pawn. Black will play bishop to e7, Developing the bishop, preparing the castle. Um, White will probably play uh, bishop to e2. The other move is playing the the bishop to uh, f4 here, if you really want to go for that. I mean c4, sorry. Um, what this does is is that it does keep this queen and bishop on the same line, so the knight, this knight here, cannot move here. Both sides will probably castle. Black will play rook to e8, once again, sort of ganging up on the e-pawn. And then 
white's going to go about its plan. Uh, one plan is possibly to play f4 in this position. So that's what happens um, when black, or typically what happens when black takes the pawn, meaning this move right here from this position. So now let's look at um, the hand ham uh, variation, which starts off by in this position, knight f6. So black wants to keep the tension, and its game plan really is to play the moves um, bishop to, not necessarily in this order, but bishop to e7, c6, and the knight to here. So knight on b to d7. Um, white will typically play knight to c3, defending the uh, the pawn on e4. An alternative, which I'm just going to digress for a second, is to play uh, d takes e5, hitting this knight right away. Uh, this knight's probably going to capture on e4. The queen will come to d5, attacking the knight. The knight will come back to c5. And then bishop to uh, g5, hitting the queen. Black will play bishop to e7. White will play e takes d6. Queen takes d6. And then knight to c3. Uh, personally, I know people will play this, but um, I think white has somewhat done black a favor by getting rid of the, the problem pawn. And the game is fairly open. So to me, it's sort of unclear, and maybe black can try to equalize in this position. That's why um, I don't know. I don't recommend that variation. I try to keep my advantages. But typically, what you'll see after knight take knight uh, black's third move of knight to f6 here is, uh, like I said, knight to c3, and then uh, black will try to. Uh, bring the setup that I mentioned earlier. So knight on b to d7, bishop to c4, putting the uh, bishop here on this diagonal to the f7 pawn. Um, it doesn't bring it to here because, you know, uh, I don't think f tentatively right now that black is actually going to play the move, something like trying to attack. Whoops. Sorry about that, my mouse got stuck. So uh, plane is going to play this move here. So it puts its bishop on this diagonal, or chooses to put the bishop on that diagonal. And then black will probably play bishop to e7. Both sides will probably castle. White plays a4, because um, this just prevents uh, black from playing moves like c6 and b5. So black will play c6, and then white will play rook to e1, supporting the, the e pawn. So that's probably a, a typical line in the Hanham variation. So let's back up again. To this position of uh, three, uh, the th white's third move of playing uh, d4. So we've covered, uh, you know, where black takes the pawn and where uh, black brings the knight to f6. Another variation is where um, black plays the uh, the knight to d7 from this position. And uh, since I'm running low on this uh, on time, I'm going to continue this on the next video.